Hi guys, it's uh, Ben from British Fencing again, and today we've got your game. So, over the last few days, you've been learning one or two things about fencing. So, just a general and quick recap, you have learnt the on-guard position steps forward and backwards. So, the on-guard position for right-handers looks like this, and a step forward looks like this, and a step backwards looks like this. If you're left-handed, your on-guard position is like this, and a step forward is the same, and so is the step back, just on the other hand. Now, the great thing about fencing is you have to be really agile and really coordinated. So as well as knowing all these moves that you've learned so far, actually the ability to change from right-handed to left-handed is actually quite a good skill to have. Not that you would ever need it at a high international level, but it's always good to challenge your athleticism and your coordination. Also, when you're on this on guard position, sometimes you can actually do a half step forward and backwards. And that's something else we can use in today's game. The same way you can actually use half step backwards as well. There are some things that we can actually incorporate today. But the main things we're going to be using is the on guard position, the step forward and the step back as you've been taught. Now, with this game, this is an arcade game, okay? So it has a little bit of dancing involved and it's gonna have a lot of coordination. So I'm sure some of you have been to the cinema or even down to a pier where you often find arcades. And at the arcades, you have these dance machines where they've got arrows on the floor. You stand in the middle and all the different arrows come up on the screen and you have to tap with your feet which arrow is being lit up in line with the music. So today, we're going to do a very similar thing. What I've done is I've actually just made these arrows just out of cardboard. Although they're really easy to make, you can probably actually get a piece of A4 and put it on the floor and just draw a big arrow on them. So we're going to put these triangles or arrows down in front of me, one about there, and i put the other one behind me about there so you guys can see, and then one here and another one about here. So now I have effectively my dance mat. I have forwards, I have backwards, I have right and I have left. So now what you can do is you can get some music and you can learn to incorporate these fencing moves into a little dance that you can make up. So you can move forward and you can move back and you can even jump to the side and even if you're really good, jump all the way to the other side. Or what you could do is you could actually switch on guard positions from here to here. Again, you might not need it for fencing, but it's a fun thing to do and it's good for your coordination and agility. So when you find a song that you really like, play that song and try and find all those different ways to make those fit in to your own little dance. Here's what I've done. Okay, and what do you think of that? Yeah, it's a little bit of fun, it gets you to use all these different things, and it's quite a good workout. So now go and try this at home and come up with your own dance routine using the fencing things that you've learned. If you've learned them and it's gone really well and you can take a video and you want to put it online, follow these hashtags. Remember that do this in a space where you're not going to fall over, trip over brothers or sisters or even the family pet, and make sure that you're on a surface that is not too shiny so you're going to step over. Go away and enjoy yourselves. The following contains important information to help you check that these activities are suitable for you, considering your fitness and ability level, 
and that you have access to an appropriate environment to allow you to undertake them safely. All activities are undertaken at the participant's risk. Only undertake activities that are suitable for your level of ability, health and fitness. Do not participate in these activities if you have any injuries. Ensure that you remember to work within your ability and physical limits. Listen to your body and keep hydrated. Make sure you have undertaken an appropriate warm-up. If you're taking part in any of the creative activities and need to use sharp objects such as scissors and cutting implements, ensure that you have an adult present to supervise. Any homemade fencing equipment is only to be used when replicating the movements and not to hit others or engage in a fencing bout with. Finally, ensure that you follow all government advice around COVID-19 and social distancing.